Hey everyone, this is a Dweller and guess what? I'm bringing you yet another battle report. So yeah, <laughs> it's going forwards with uh, coming back to the Ninth Age. Um, since I've been gone for a bit of a while, I will. Uh, I'm playing the same list as uh, I've done on the two previous back reps. Uh, Gonna, probably gonna play it like a few more games just to get into it and then I'll try to mix things up to make hopefully something is something more uh, fun or more variable to look at <laughs> or to watch or listen to whatever you want to do so uh, this time uh, up against the uh, Wars of Dog Gods uh, again it's a 5,000 point match and let's head over to the list shall we so, starting out with this is general, right? Uh, a chosen lord on a chimera with a whole bunch of shit. <laughs> uh, basically, he has like agility 10, offensive 10, uh, 2 plus save with the 4 plus ages. Um, and it's like a fucking crane. <laughs> um, then a, a doom lord. Uh, also that with uh, like a one plus rollable armor, say right? Something like that. And dragon staff or the breath weapon uh, also hits pretty, pretty decent. And then a adept sorcerer on the ward days. Uh, Heroes heart, sept of the powers, lucky charm. So uh, let's see. He should have like a one plus or two plus save as well. Shit, hate those kind of models. <laughs> um, and then a sorcerer on the back steed, uh, adept evocation. Uh, the, the first one was alchemy. Um, then twenty five words of gluttony uh, with salad banner, so extra supporting attacks. I uh, think it is uh, eight barbarians uh, with uh, barbarian horsemen, even with great whips. Some chaff, or if you can call it chaff, eight warhounds. Uh, five fell drags with. Great webs, banner of speed, so yeah, they hit quite hard. Six force worn with great webs. Um, and ah, full command of both uh, as well. Um, so yeah, the force worn, they don't hit as much, I think I would like two attacks each, but it's a lot of three plus wounds to get through. So yeah, we'll see about that. And then a six warrior knights with great, we uh, great weapons, sloth, uh, full command, and then a marauding giant with the monstrous familiar. So he's got like a few hellfire, uh, I believe. This is my list, uh, same as as I said, as the two previous matches. So uh, the one and only the Avatar of Nature, he's, he's a he's a beast. Love him, love them all. Um, a uh, druidism druid on a dragon. <laughs> Uh, with Binding Scroll, Hero's Art and Telephone of the Void, uh, you want to hit that sweet spot of at least three channels. Uh, I previously ran with uh, two uh, Binding Scrolls, but I must say that with tel the Talisman of the Void does bring a lot. And then of course the Secret Shepherd BSB, <laughs> don't ever leave home without him. Uh, in core, uh, eight Dryads uh, with a champion just to have uh, scoring, more or less, fill out the points. And then two tens and one nine uh, of Heath Hunters because they're just awesome. Uh, seven Blade Dancers, a Chaff Eagle, uh, 23 Rangers, uh, five Sticky Beasts with the Champion, uh, five Wild Huntsmen with the Lance, and five Briar Maidens with the Champion to so get the awesome spells. So, over to deployment. Uh, scenario uh, in this match is, I uh, can't remember what it's called, uh, but it says three objectives on the mid uh, line of the board, which you need to take with scoring units. So, we, yeah, we'll see how that goes. Uh, so, yeah, deployment. I deploy pretty defensively. Um, I know he, he will go first, he won that roll off. So, uh, I'm just, uh, yeah. Just screening out more or less. Uh, th that chimera has a sick movement, so we can't do too much. Uh, over here, just yeah, keeping everything inside the BSP bubble that I want. Uh, have some counter charges if it goes, or some charges, charge threats. Um, 
and supports and uh, yeah just kind of standard deployment and over here as well with the wild huntsman on the hill you can always go for a pretty long charge and quite high chance you make it uh, if you want to go that way uh, hiding the dragon behind the hill because it would be suicide not to <laughs> and my opponent just a solid battle line uh, from the right chaos knights the uh, forsworn um the hounds release the hounds um the giant the marauder horsemen the big brick of the warriors together with uh the sorcerer on a four days, the Feldrax, and then his lord on the left, as you can see over here. So, Vanguard deployment, I just moved back with uh, the East Hunters uh, here as well, and here as well. So, I'm kind of like standing in an, an arch facing outward. <laughs> or arc, not arch, arc. Uh, so, yeah, where's the dog? Where's the dog? Blah, 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 dark gods. Dark gods. <laughs> Yeah, dog, the freaking dog gods. Turn one. Uh, so he just rampages up with his uh, Chaos Lord. Uh, not afraid of much. Uh, just standing there, picking his, tar picking his targets. Um, a bit more passively uh, on the advance here. He still moves up, but uh, not super aggressively. Uh, same here. Uh, just run. He released the hounds. <laughs> And now he just, um, yeah, just, just wanna chaff the Wild Huntsman and probably the Avatar as well. The Avatar has a really long charge, so it's more for the Wild Huntsman. And the Knights just stand there. It's a bit frightened again uh, for the Blade Dancers. Uh, I can understand that, and it can probably do some damage on them uh, if I get the chance. Uh, magic phase, yeah, we got uh, number three, or well, number four even, sorry about that. Um, we managed just to make one wound on the thicket piece, that's it. <laughs> so, yeah, you cast a hellfire, and then hellfire on the thicket piece is like, yeah, sure, why not. So, over to my turn. Um, quite a lot happening uh, already. So, I'm, I charged the... Um, Hounds with the avatar, and they failed the terror test, so they ran away, which led uh, the wild huntsmen, uh, the road open for them to charge the forsworn. So if I get the chance, why the hell not? Probably I can make quite a few wounds. Uh, I also tried to charge with the avatar, but he failed charge. I just needed to roll like an eleven or twelve, so yeah, it was just why not. Over here, I just move up to shoot out. A bit. It's still only resilience five on the Manticore. It's still only four wounds, and with this uh, two up, four up, it is possible to actually fail some AP one shots, uh, and I should get uh, about three, four through maybe. Uh, so yeah, we'll see what happens. It's, I won't beat him in combat unless I have the avatar, and even with the avatar, I would like some magic buffs to be certain of it. So yeah, if I can shoot him out, I will. Uh, I'm just shuffling. Um, uh, the other heath hunters just uh, target. Look, looks up the giant more or less. Over here uh, as well, just hiding the heath hunters from the knights. Um, up on the hill, so I can see the giant. Still shooting some force and everything, but screw that. Uh, some shots. Um, the blade dancers, the dancers just, yeah, they're just a protective shield. Uh, magic face number two, not that much. Uh, good. I think I got off like uh, Oaken Throne. I think that was about it. <laughs> and yeah, in combat. Uh, so. The Wild Huntsman, they rolled, rolled really good for them. Uh, I got from the plus one wound roll from Battle Focus, uh, so more sixes than ones, <laughs> which is kind of awesome. I did manage to do like 13 wounds, and he had a six, six up save, and he rolled six sixes out of those 13. So yeah, I still killed a few and made some wounds, but yeah, they should be like two more dead <laughs> and they just ate up the wild huntsman afterwards so yes i have uh, 
stuff happens. Sometimes your your luck is not as you know. But yeah, it, th those saves were like insane. <laughs> uh, Wars of the Dark Gods turn two. So uh, yeah, I can really hide Dryad. So he charges the Dryads with his uh, Chaos Lord. And Peter, yeah, I managed to shoot out three wounds on the giant in my, I forgot to say that, in my turn. Uh, which is why I felt he had to charge him in before he died. Uh, so he charged the avatar. Why not? Uh, this giant model, by the way, is so freaking huge. My avatar looks like a dryad in comparison. <laughs> and the avatar is quite big as well. Uh, here it just shuffles up uh, the fellow Drax, uh, angling up, up for counter charges or charges. Uh, the warriors move up now quite aggressively. Uh, the sorcerer on the horse uh, joins the more of the horsemen, just standing on range for spells. It's only 18 inches range, so yeah, that's why he's standing pretty close. Um, the Forsworn, they just kind of move back. Or he already even move back? I can't remember if he moved back or not. Uh, either way, he goes for the objective with them. Magic phase. Uh, yeah, he got off. Reroll to hit on the giant. And now I see, I forgot to picture that. But yeah, the giant made one wound on the avatar. I did uh, a lot more, I think. I made enough wounds so that he had one wound left. That's as much as I, I know, at least. <laughs> Which kind of sucks, uh, because now I have a shit ton of attacks. So in my face, yeah, I double charge. Figuring that if I'm gonna take that unit, it is these two combined. Uh, that's gonna do it. So yeah, it was not like really far. I think it drew like a six on both. Uh, something like that, and uh, yeah, I made them both, which is lucky for me. Uh, really, yeah, we'll see how that goes. I, I really felt this was like a 50 50 combat, but the way he's pressing me, I need to counter punch pretty hard. I need to get one of his threats gone, and those words are definitely a threat. Uh, I still have a magic face as well, so uh, yeah. Hope it will go well. Yeah, I died a few ranges from dangerous train in the in the water. And on this side, yeah, uh, since he had a lot of attacks, real to hit on the giant, I actually charged uh, with uh, the blade dancers. They could just see him. So lucky that they should be able to do the last one with all of their attacks. Uh, shouldn't be a problem. Over here, the heat stunters just move up to shoot some Feldrax. Yeah, since they're like the only viable target from here right now. Uh, over here, I move up with the dragon and <coughs> kind of had a brain fart. Not a brain fart. I, I wanted to be able to, because I challenged away uh, um, his lord with the dryads, with the champion. Uh, so I was still steadfast, and that's why I still held. Uh, so I wanted to get uh, first the dragon, but that would be too close if it wouldn't work. So I put the Brian minutes there just to be within 12. So if I get off Massive Earth, uh, I could actually rest the champion, and I could challenge him away again, which would be quite good. And then they just stand there to kind of protect the, with the druid. Uh, other than that, yeah, move. As I said, I have no viable targets, so I'm. Yeah, I have one viable target. It's a dog. So I'm. I'm looking for the. I'm aiming at the dogs. Here, uh, the unit on the right uh, of his hunters, they can just fit, and they were just out of line of sight of the knights. So a really good position for me. Magic face. Yeah, I got the one card I didn't want. <laughs> Crap. <laughs> um, this is where. I shine, it shined with the three um, channels, so I could actually get two extra dice, which would prove quite good. So, yeah. Um, after a lot, I got in both Healing Waters and Stone Skin on the Rangers, and that just 
tips the scale to my favor by quite an amount. So yeah, I think I rolled uh, like three dice on the healing waters. Uh, he let it go, or if it was the other way around, I can't remember. And on the other one, he had f uh, four against my s three. I rolled really high. He rolled quite low. It's still I still got it off. Awesome. So yeah, well, bit bit lucky. Uh, I would have been more than satisfied with one of these because with even one, I should be able to win this combat quite comfortably and hopefully break him. Uh, over here, yeah, he just kills off the drives. Uh, bloody hell. Uh, he actually only managed to kill like a few, so I was still steadfast. But I, st I, I still failed my uh, break test. <laughs> And now when we when we when I think about it, they wouldn't have been steadfast because he's still a monster's rank. So yeah, good for the match. They actually died anyways after. Yeah, he whiffed a lot, and I rolled good on the board. So, uh, so yeah, good that he died. Now let's see the mistake. The big combat. Yeah, I died like I took two wounds, I believe, on uh, the thicket beast, killing one, and I took one casualty from the Wildwood Rangers. Uh, killed off a bunch, he out broke, I ran him down. The thickets even got an overrun into the Marauder Horseman. So yeah, the best case scenario from, for me. No doubt, no doubt. Really, really couldn't uh, dream of a better start than this. Also, I still have the Feldrax in the front with the Rangers. So if he charges me, they're still resilient 6 with a 4-up uh, um, region. And they still hit like a brick, so awesome. Uh, so yeah, Wars of Darkness turn three, he charges the Bride Maidens. Kind of, uh, yeah, quite bad play to actually put them in there, banking on taking up the champion. I should just have had him out of range. Uh, yeah, a bit of some pictures missing, I believe. So basically, he got off like reroll to hit on his sorcery lord or something. Uh, the uh, thicket beast just eats up the more the horseman. He, he he just shuffles a bit. And uh, now with uh, when those died, I'm so f spread off the board. So he needs to like kind of angle it and uh, looking for angles so he doesn't so I don't get behind everything and into his flanks and rear. So it makes a really good job of just cutting off uh, those kind of things. Uh, over here, uh, he does manage to kill a lot. Uh, I th think I did a wound on him, maybe. Uh, or on the standard shoot, or uh, something. Uh, but anyhow, they broke. Yeah, uh, yeah, that's he, he cast Hellfire uh, first, killing a few. Then he like whiffed again and just killed one. Uh, but I still fled, so uh, still on the board though. And he just uh, reforms and looks at Midragon. Uh, fortunately, it's, it's my turn, so now I'm just putting everything I have to killing that uh, Chaos Lord. Um, and with putting everything I have, I mean shooting. <laughs> so yeah, just finding the right angles, standing safe. The Feldrax can they can charge anything. I think they can charge uh, the Avatar, as you can see here on this blurry picture. Uh, they needed like an 11 or double six to get in, and if they get in, I'm actually not too worried about it. I have healed him up uh, during the course of this magic phases uh, with the attribute. Uh, and also everything here, uh, everything else is just out of line of sight. Uh, I chaffed the first swarm with the eagle, we formed the thicket piece to look at him. Um, the rangers just shuffles to be able to so they can take up the objective next turn. Let's put a picture of that. And you can see also the uh, his hunters just... I tried to sh charge the knights. This was a long charge with the blade dancers and I failed it. So then, yeah, that's the matchup I want to have against the knights. Uh, his hunters can't shoot at anything else. Uh, they couldn't actually... They didn't have the movement to get up on the hill and out of and still be out of the arc of the knights and, and see the sorcerer lord so I've just yeah I'm gonna shoot a 
maybe kill a knight instead. Um, with all my shooting, I did only manage to do, do, do one wound with the breath and everything. Um, so that kind of sucks, but what can you do? <laughs> um, not, no combat this turn. And uh, what's the Dark God's turn 4? He charges it, uh, into the Heath Hunters. I thought that with stun and shoot and everything, taking last wound, yeah, maybe. Uh, I think I got like two wounds through, but he saved it and he failed uh, the armor save, but made the ages uh, two times. Uh, so, yeah. <laughs> Darn. So they would probably, they, they would be gone. But yeah, one more left. I should be able to take that off with something. Over here, he doesn't charge anything. He doesn't charge the blade dancers. He just moves past them. Um, and you can see as well up uh, on the top of the picture, the force worn just reformed and moved out of my arc. So a quite clumsy positioning from my part. But yeah, what can you do? And here, you, yeah, just another picture of everything. And here on the left, yeah, the felled racks just moving out of the arc. Uh, quite good position to charge in or counter charge or move up and then charge depending on how things go. Uh, in the magic phase I don't think he did much. He only has like a bounce bell hellfire, uh, hellfire left so I've, of course I'm gonna just destroy his magic phase every turn. Uh, he did kill, kill the Heath Hunters without, without us breaking a sweat. Uh, he's still alive with one wound. <laughs> uh, my turn four, so yeah, just continuing, nothing better to shoot at, so yes, just out of the arc, shoot my short range. Wounds will go through. Um, yeah, you can also see he moved out with the character on the fourth one you can see in this picture. Uh, to kind of like chaffing. Thicket Beast, uh, and I just reformed them to have a better better angle. As I see it now, there's still not a good angle, but yeah, he's gonna try to run away with objective, which is well, quite a good play, I must say. Um, Blade Dancer just turns around to look at the knights. Uh, the Heath Hunters yeah, moves up. Uh, everyone can see the Sorcerer Lord, but it's covered from a few, but it's still shots. I still have the strangling root from the avatar. That's another picture of uh, that. As you see, my angle is really poor. As you see it now, he can still just reform and just move forward again, and he will be out of my arc probably. Uh, so yeah, magic face got off. I got a got a good amount of dice. I don't think I got off anything uh, properly though, sadly. But I did manage to kill him. I, uh, so yeah, big swing, killing the Sorcerer Lord, just big headache uh, gone for me. And a lot of points, victory points as well. So uh, yeah, felt good to <laughs> kill him. Uh, Where's the Dark God? So he charged in with his character into my uh, one range there, unbuffed, as it is now. So he will probably kill like a rank. <laughs> Um, and as I said, he just reforms and moves up with the Force Worn Swiss out of the dark. Yeah, bad positioning from my Thicket Beast two turns now. Um, rusty play, bad play. Uh, Felrax moves up, and as you can see, if he holds and survives with his uh, character, he's gone. And for, for my turn as well, because uh, I have no counter charges uh, against that, I should. Again, a bit rusty play for my. For my part, but if his character holds this his turn and my turn, he's gonna be able to shit sandwich me from hell. So yeah, I I need some buffs up on those uh, rangers. <laughs> Over here, he continues. He doesn't charge the avatar with knights. He just moves up to be to annoy annoy on us, uh, just be in my up in my business, blocking me. So uh, yeah, really good play. Uh, so you see, I, I've managed to kill two knights from some stray arrows. From, from yeah, I think I killed one in turn two and like one in my last turn, something like that. 
Uh, so his magic is shut down, so yeah, going to combat. Uh, I did manage to make do two wounds on his character. Uh, he still made a lot more on me. Uh, and since I was uh, standing in horde, I couldn't, I didn't get the rank bonuses and combat resolution from that. So uh, yeah, we're standing. I need to kill him next turn. <laughs> Uh, so my turn, yeah, I just again move up to shoot. I see I've shot a couple of wounds off here and there, but not much. But yeah, some wounds will always go through. Over here now, I angle up my uh, thicket beast a bit better. I block the backwards path path with the uh, the great eagle. Uh, move up the blade dancers. Uh, move up with the avatar. Screw those knights. If you if you want to, you can charge my avatar, and I will probably. Destroy them. <laughs> also move up with uh, the dragon. So I have th uh, four potential counter charges uh, if he does is if his character doesn't die. So yeah, but it's still pretty good magic face, uh, but still only got one spell off. So um, stone skin. So I'm resilient six. So that's at least something. I think I will be able to hold. Uh, from these charges, I, I hit bef his character will hit first, then I hit before everything else. Should be able to negate quite a lot of attacks back, but we will see. We will see. He certainly has the power to kill off the unit. Uh, just yeah, after the combat, nothing. We're standing there. I'm gonna get shit sandwiched, <laughs> which I do get. Uh, so his last turn, uh, he goes in with everything. He goes in with the Feldrax. Uh, I think he, uh, I shot like off off a wound, so it was one with one left, and he failed one uh, dangerous train in the forest. Um, the forest one goes in, everything all in now in this, at this point. The thing is, if he manages to kill this unit, uh, take that objective as well, and. I don't, I, I don't manage to kill him. He, yeah, he could actually win the game. <laughs> and yeah, his insignificant magic face. He tries to cast Hellfire. I dispel it. I, not even that. He doesn't even have any spells left. So, so yeah. After everything, uh, I did a lot of damage. A lot of damage. So I kill off one uh, more Feldrak, which is like three attacks less in return. I kill off a bunch of Force One. I think he had. One left, no, one left, and then one on one wound left, uh, something like that. Um, he didn't manage to do all that much. He killed off maybe five. Uh, I was still steadfast, so uh, yeah, let's do this. My turn. Everything was in. So the thicket beast, the blade dancers, uh, rear and side. Let's where I want to be with them. Uh, really good. I, I, yeah, I can see he made a really good reform with his knight in his turn to just chaff the avatar. So yeah, the avatar is out of the picture, sadly. Uh, so the avatar charges uh, the knight instead. The dragon tries to charge the Feldrax, but I failed the charge. Uh, really bad and intro, like a seven. Swift try. Uh, yeah, of course you can, you can fail them, but uh, yeah. Uh, I get another quite big magic phase, and uh, with that I got off uh, healing waters on the rangers, and with the combat I just, yeah, I ran over, well not ran over, I, I killed the forest one, um, the uh, character, I killed off one uh, Feldrak, I think he just killed like one ranger, maybe two, uh, from Feldrax, uh, or if it was his character, can uh, he didn't kill that, that many, that many, uh, and I did a crap ton of wounds uh, on him. So yeah, I killed the Force Worn. The character fled, and uh, I caught him. Uh, the Feldrax fled. I didn't uh, get him. Oh, it's just I think his character just dies when he breaks, and but he gets to hit again. Uh, I think that is what happened, and I tried to get Feldrax or something and. I, could, I didn't get him, but after that combat, end of the game, and uh, certainly didn't 
feel like it, but it was uh, quite a good victory. 20-0. Wasn't that much left of uh, the Warriors. Maybe me being subjective with uh, all my casualties. I thought I still did die quite a lot, but not the big pieces. So just like Wild Huntsman, 300-something points. Heath Hunters, 375 points. Briar Maidens, 300-something points. A lot of stuff like that. Uh, and he just had... Two knights. Yeah, the avatar didn't kill the knights. He was still they were still alive. So um, he had like two knights and some feldrax left. So, uh, so yeah, solid victory. Really, this was his, the first time he tried off tried this uh, tried this list as well. So uh, yeah, it was a really fun game. Really fun game. Um, not so often I get that pushed so fast. Uh, I normally, I always want like one turn to get like board presence and kind of dictate movements and when stuff is up in my face so fast that's when it gets hard to play still on else uh, at least this kind of list uh, even though as I, I still had counter charges so yeah the, the combat with the rangers and the ticket piece uh, obviously it was key that I broke those uh, uh, those warriors and the, I didn't even think about the overrun into the into the Marauder Horsemen. Uh, I just rolled really high uh, on the Sticky Beast, so they just rampaged in there as well. So that was obviously a big, big bonus. Um, but uh, yeah, and without those luck, without lucking out in the magic phase as I did, getting off both those spells in that combat, things could have gone really differently. <laughs> So yeah, I locked out a bit on the on that magic face, but ah, the stuff that happens in the game, right? Uh, so yeah, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed this one. Uh, we'll probably have even another bat trip coming up pretty soon, so stay tuned for that. See you then.